Hello! And welcome to this. I don't know why it cuts out the audio right when I start recording, but it does! And gosh darn it, we've got a crappy game to play. So, let's play a crappy game! Buckle your seatbelts, it's gonna be a whole lot of not exciting. So enjoy the cutscene, I'll see you when it's done. For 13 days after we awoke, were the beginning of the end. Serious? Be quiet. <laughs> Best of luck. She did it. Welcome to Final Fantasy 13. I should mention I've played a few hours of this, and I did a test yesterday. Uh, I didn't like the game when I played it, but uh, you know, you know how that goes. So we're gonna play it. The first, like, several hours of the game are considered to be kind of garbage and really slow. Also, I need to turn the subtitles on. Sorry. I thought I had the subtitles on for the test, but uh, apparently it doesn't save that, so I need to change that. Hopefully I can change it right now. No? I can't change it? Is it just it's because it's a cutscene? I don't know. I'm gonna skip the tutorials. Uh, the game's battle system uses an active gauge thingy over there like they've used previously, but different abilities take different amounts of time, so... 
I think 10-2 is actually the first one that had abilities that took different amounts of time, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna skip them though, because I don't care. Yeah, I can't change anything. For the first, like, 70 fights, I'm gonna just be clicking auto battle. So, brace yourselves for a whole lot of nothing, pretty much. Did he shoot a laser out of his tail at me? Uh. I think that may be a reference to Final Fantasy VII, because the dude in Seven's a scorpion thing and he fires a laser out of his tail, I don't know. you did, man. Why you had to talk about that? Why you had to talk about it? Also, lightning likes to show off. And that's lightning, by the way. Not the black dude. The black dude is Saw, or Saws, or whatever his name is. And a chocobo. Heads up. This thing won't give up. I like I like Saw because he has a chocobo in his afro, and that is really the only only qualifying factor of who I like. And auto battle. At least the music's good here. This is kind of like I think this is someone's theme, but I can't really remember. Also lasers. Chocofro. <laughs> Chocofro is great. I am live streaming this, I should mention that. For anyone on YouTube. I I am fond of the term Chocofro, so we shall now use that. The black man has a Chocofro. I should probably call him by his name. Saws has a Chocofro. There you go. Let's not offend easily offendable people, shall we? You shouldn't actually need to use a potion for ages. And yes, I know I'm almost dead. Don't worry about it. Oh no, he's gonna fire his tail cannon. What do we do? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Whatever, bro. And the game has a, a rating system for every battle. I'm... I don't care. I'm not gonna get five stars. I'm not even gonna try to get five stars. I don't care. Also, you would have thought a giant flying scorpion that fires laser beams out of every orifice on it would probably be a bit stronger, but apparently not. Can I get to the settings now, please? I'm gonna turn subtitles on. Aren't you supposed to protect civilians, soldier? I mean, you are Sanctum, aren't you? She is supposed to have subtitles. What are you doing trying to stop the Purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Hey, where do you think you're going? To get some subtitles? Duh. Where do you think she'd be going, man? Chocobo. Chocobo? We just can't catch a break, can we? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't actually know why he has that Chocobo. Yes, you are. To be honest, I think everyone would be getting too old for fighting giant scorpion things on trains. It's kind of a, it's kind of an age-limiting factor there. Can I? I don't need camera control game. Go away. What I want to do is change the stupid subtitles. Whatever. You're not gonna let me change the subtitles, are you? No. It's the mini map. How do I get to... there we go. That's the button I was wanting. We want subtitles. I don't know why they always default to off, but they need to be on. So people can read them. Uh, battle speed can be normal. I don't really care. Auto battle. Yeah. And I don't think I need to adjust the brightness. I may need to because it gets a little tiny bit darker, but I think it should be bright enough. Uh, we could go through the data log and read all about stuff, uh, but, you know, it, I don't, the kind of, I don't know the point of reading through most of this stuff. Especially since technically that just spoiled some stuff, but whatever. Gameplay basics, whatever. Enemy intel, 
Annihilators. There you go. It's apparently weak to lightning and water. It has a 300% stagger. It's level 75? Why is that thing level 75? What kind of horrible level scaling is that? Level 75 just got killed by two level 1s. And I don't think we have anything that we... Oh, wait, wait, what? Okay, never mind. I don't think we have anything to do in the menu, so... You alright there, dude? Uh, whatever. I'm gonna assume he's alright. And they give us access to shops immediately. There's nothing I want to buy, though, because we have a billion potions and we're going to have a billion potions forever. So, whatever. In the meantime, though, it also acts as a save point, so we shall save. Save points in this game do not heal you because you get healed after every battle, so there's no reason for the save point to heal you. It also makes... Uh, that is indeed a mess. It's a very pretty game. You gotta give it that much. They still suck at making hair. Because they use, like, flat 2D sprites for hair, but whatever. Uh, but it also makes subsequent battles extremely easy, because you heal after every single one of them. Data log updated, by god! Let me just run up to this guy and hit him with a sword. Because why not? Uh, Lightning does have an AoE attack. But until later, we're probably just going to keep focusing on standard attacks because everything is incredibly weak and in small groups. So, my god, five stars and a potion. I told you, man, potions. They're just going to throw potions at me. Potions, I assume. Yes, assuming the toys are potions. And again. I like how they let you stand in some... You just ran back the way you came from, so... And now he's back up here. And now he's done that. Whatever, dude. I like how they let you stop on top of some of the scenery just to get a fancy view for no reason whatsoever. There's really no reason to do that other than to look at how pretty the game is, which is basically what it has going for it from what I've heard. One of the least liked Final Fantasy games, I think, ever at this point. I think even 11 was liked more than 13, and 11's not exactly high up on that list. 11 being an MMO, for those of you who are unaware. I do think they should have stuck with the, uh, the Final Fantasy 12 style, where the enemies and the fights themselves actually stayed on the map, but... What is? I'm not a game designer, what do I know about what's good and what's not good? By the way, Blitz was her AoE if you missed that. I think it is the same damage as one attack, but it hits everything in a little circle. So. An AoE, some might call it. I swear. Also, things disintegrate when they die, so that's a little interesting. Well, yes. I mean, they are literally having a war. I would imagine it's somewhat similar to a war zone, but whatever. Hey, an item! Items come in floating balls for some reason. And a potion. Hooray! Potions! Because what I need is more potions. Are you having fun back there? I don't think he's having fun back there. I think he just exploded. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not ignoring you, man. I just looked at you. Oh no, an enemy. Get purged, I get. But taking on trained soldiers? Better to die than get sent to pulse. It's hell for the brimstone. Yeah, well, hell's not sounding too bad, because this place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peacekeepers. Nothing to worry about. Well, maybe not for a soldier girl, but I'm trying to say, hey, 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 hey. And, by the way, my throat does in fact hurt. I think my throat's getting worse as well, but, you know, we should be alright. I may have to stop and grab some delicious tea at some point, and then continue sipping it through the video, but we should be alright for now. Peacekeepers, which are these dog things, I believe, actually have quite a lot of health. They don't hurt any more than the other dudes, they just have a lot of health, I think. 
Oh no, these are panther realms, sorry. Why are they called peacekeepers? Or are the dudes called peacekeepers? I don't remember anymore. Good heavens. By the way, the dog things. And he's staggered. As far as I'm aware, stagger just means they take more damage, so. He's all good in the neighborhood. Neighborhood? That's right. We don't have hoods around here, we have herds. Also, there's an item up here. We. It's not exactly hidden, I mean, it's a dead-end path that goes slightly out of your way. Two potions, wow. Glad they're giving me all these potions for these difficult fights. And I'm going to save every time I reach a save point. On a new save slot, because I'm too lazy to go to the right and save on that slot. Deal with it. I, I move? There we go. There's also another item over here. And some flying dudes. I was kind of hoping I could ambush him. If you catch people before they get that little icon on their head, it's an ambush. Or whatever the game calls it. Initiative or something? I don't remember. Uh, you get one free attack from lightning on every enemy. Which isn't bad, so... Also, yeah, kinda... Get used to walking in straight paths for like... 80% of this game because it's just one giant corridor after another Until supposedly you get to the plains where the game lets you actually branch out But I think I don't remember exactly what it is But I think people have said that's like chapter 7 or something before it even lets you do anything And I realize that's not not much of an argument for some people because you know Final Fantasy games weren't exactly free roam until you got airships or something, but at least it wasn't a straight corridor. 50 more HP, sign me up for that. Because what I need is whoop, more ability to tank hits. Because uh, I'm taking way too much damage, man. I'm not entirely sure how he got over here, but... There's the thing down there. It'll eventually murder people. I guess it just gets tired of being shot and eventually decides to kill the people shooting at it, but whatever. Loot. Is it potions? Please? Potions? I need more potions. Oh, Gil. I suppose that's actually much better, but whatever. They should have made the minimap a line. Yeah. Well, really, it's just a line inside of a circle, so they got, they got it done. Just an alternate method. I wish Saws did more damage, but whatever. He'll start to do more damage later, it's not really an issue, but for now, he's he does drastically less than Lightning. Which makes him drastically less useful than Lightning, because they both get two attacks every time. Preemptive strike. Rebels. So much for the element of surprise. Maybe you shouldn't have yelled preemptive before you ran over there. I already made that joke on the test run, but I may have wanted to make it again. Do you think I'm gonna need a potion in this fight game? If you guys know how to use items, I assume. You go to items and you click the item. That's how that works. I, I sh yeah, I guess he does shoot twice per attack. I still think he does less. Maybe he does more, I don't know. Maybe I've been looking at it all wrong, but I thought he did like 15 damage per hit. Could be mistaken. How do you keep getting ahead of me, man? You're old. I wanna go up the stairs. You're not gonna let me go up the stairs because there's a cutscene. Heaven forbid I roam. Looks that way. 